short and pulled away. Benjamin just dropping it in short and pulled very quickly to get onto it. These bowling figures for Carl Hooper this season in Karachi. And Crow Park, a big shot, it's in the air though, he's going to just clear Haynes. Oh. Now it's Atherton out there. That's a better shot, that's going to be another four, it's going to beat Ambrose down there. Medellin's a very productive over for New Zealand, with nine runs coming from the eighth over bowl by Benjamin. It's 128 for three, 32 overs completed. One forty-one for four. Throw on the sweep. He's used that shot more often recently. That's four more. Comparison means healthy reading for New Zealand. Full toss. Straight down the long arm. This will be four. Marshall's in again to Crow. Oh, and he's played that away brilliantly, pulling it away off his pads, and that goes for four. That was a marvellous stroke by Crow. Oh, and that's a marvellous stroke there by Crow, pulling it away. Is he going for four? Yes, it is, in front of square. It's not often that people hook Ambrose. Difficult player to play that stroke against. It's Crow's 50. There it is. He's 52. He's played wonderfully well. 166 for four. Captain Crow went on to score an undefeated 81 and take his tally of World Cup runs to 263 and he's only been dismissed once. He played particularly well and was supported with an explosive 63 from opener Mark Greatbatch. So New Zealand win with nine balls to spare and can now look forward to the 